No one had expected something like this from Toyota. Not market observers, not the big manufacturers in Detroit, and certainly not the diehard electric car fans who believed Toyota was years behind. But overnight, the world's largest automaker turned the entire battery race on its head. What was presented was not a theoretical concept, but a production-ready solid-state battery that enables more than one, 900 kilometers on a single charge, and recharges in less than five minutes, a speed that was previously unimaginable. It's not just about impressive numbers. This technology solves several problems at once. No more dependence on lithium shortages, no geopolitical tensions around cobalt, and a safety level far beyond what was previously known. And the best part is that this is not some dusty lab project. In Iki, Japan, the first test productions are already running, preparing the transition to mass manufacturing. The first model, a compact Toyota, is set to cost under 30 euro striking, right at the heart of the global auto market. The reactions were not long in coming. Within just three days, battery cell suppliers panicked. The stock values of established manufacturers lost billions, and many startups in the electric sector saw their business models thrown into disarray. This isn't just about range or charging speed, it's about control over the energy of the future. Whoever owns this technology has the power to supply not only cars, but also airplanes, homes, and entire cities with electricity, free from the shackles of lithium dependence. Solid-state batteries were previously considered a technology that might not be market-ready for decades. Toyota has brought the future into the present with one stroke, rewriting the rules of the entire energy world. If you want to learn how Toyota's breakthrough could permanently change the energy industry, then support this video with a like. Subscribe to the channel for more revolutionary revelations and let us know in the comments. Has Toyota taken the decisive step that leaves all competitors behind? For many years, the world of electric cars was trapped in a lithium cage. Lithium ion cells were considered the gold standard powerful but also vulnerable, with limited range, slow charging speeds, and always the risk of overheating, a polite term, for what in rare cases could lead to fires. The real question was never whether someone would break these limits, but only who would do it first. That it was Toyota who took this step, however, no one had on their radar. There was no global countdown, no glamorous stage, no glaring spotlights. Instead, everything took place at a strictly confidential engineering meeting in Toyota City, with a few selected investors, top managers, and a handful of stunned engineers. What was presented there was nothing less than historic, proof that Toyota's solid-state battery program is not a distant vision, but a reality functional, tested, and already capable of shifting boundaries that were until now considered unshakable. These cells were tirelessly tested over a period of more than 18 months and integrated into prototypes that pulverize all previous performance standards of electric cars. The result, a confirmed range of over one, 900 kilometers on a single charge in a charging time of less than five minutes. With the same battery unit, you could drive from Tokyo to Fukuoka without stopping once and then refuel faster than you can pour a cup of green tea. Toyota did not present a futuristic show car that day, but something far more dangerous for the competition. Clear proof that the era of the lithium battery is approaching its end. On a presentation slide was a single phrase in bold black letters that shook the entire industry. Beyond lithium. With this, Toyota made it clear that this is not just an improvement, but the beginning of a completely new battery generation. An era in which Toyota holds the keys and the rest of the industry is suddenly left playing catch up. But why does this breakthrough cause such a quake in the electric car world? Quite simply, Toyota has eliminated the biggest weakness of previous lithium ion batteries, the liquid electrolyte, which has always been considered a safety risk. Instead of a flammable liquid, the solid state cells use a novel ceramic polymer structure. This material remains stable even under extreme conditions, withstands accidents, and is ruthlessly efficient at transporting electrical energy. The performance improvement is impressive. While the best of today's cells achieve an energy density of about 250 watt hours per kilogram, Toyota's solid state cells reach nearly 450 watt hours per kilogram. In other words, almost double the energy in the same space with significantly reduced weight. The result is vehicles that are noticeably lighter, offer considerably more range, are more agile on the road, and achieve acceleration that hardly any competitor can match. But the advantage doesn't end with weight. The new Toyota batteries are about 30% lighter and 15% more compact 
than the battery packs of the current BZ series. Due to their solid structure, the cells are so stable that they can serve as a load-bearing element in the vehicle chassis, increasing crash safety and stiffening the entire body. Even more exciting is an invisible detail, a graphene, reinforced anode that almost completely prevents the growth of so-called dendrites. These microscopic metal spikes are the reason why classic lithium-ion batteries lose capacity over time and, in the worst case, can cause short circuits. In internal stress tests, the Toyota cells withstood more than two 500 complete charge and discharge cycles with less than 8% capacity loss. Translated into practice, this means a lifespan of well over one and a half million kilometers before any significant range loss becomes noticeable. And the best part, these batteries remain cool even during extremely fast charging or sustained high-performance driving. The dreaded risk of uncontrolled overheating that made headlines in recent years is practically eliminated. But Toyota didn't stop at the battery itself. They developed an entire ecosystem around it. At the center is the Hypercharge of 55 system, a new generation of charging stations that can transfer a massive 2.2 megawatts of power through an advanced liquid-cooled cable. This is no longer fast charging, this is energy transfer on an industrial level, comparable to what was previously only seen in power plants or heavy industry. With this technology, a Toyota with a solid-state battery can be fully charged in less than five minutes faster than a conventional gasoline refueling. Their breakthrough with solid-state technology eliminates the fear of insufficient range, eliminates long charging breaks, and sets new safety standards that many engineers until recently considered physically impossible. Imagine, about one 600 kilometers of range, a complete charge in less than five minutes, a lighter, longer-lasting battery that doesn't overheat or burst into flames even under the hardest strain. Toyota hasn't just introduced a new battery, they have ushered in a new era. And the moment the news leaked, the echo in the industry grew into a wave that quickly became a tsunami. In Japan, Panasonic was the first to know, and they remained calm. The reason? Weeks earlier, they had already joined in a quiet alliance with Toyota. Together, both companies opened a pilot production line near Nagoya. This was no ordinary supplier contract, but an industrial alliance with stakes so high it could redistribute market shares worldwide. In China, battery giant CATL reacted with hectic emergency plans. Behind closed doors, Executives met late into the night, rushed to regulators, and desperately tried to accelerate their own solid-state roadmap. It was no longer about catching up with Toyota, it was about survival. In Detroit, General Motors quietly pulled the handbrake. Their Ultium platform, originally the foundation of their electric strategy, suddenly stood on shaky ground. Engineers were reassigned to analyze Toyota's patents around ceramic electrolytes, searching for loopholes. Plans, diagrams, and presentations had to be re-evaluated. And in Wolfsburg, Volkswagen's ambitious battery roadmap suddenly seemed outdated, like a relic from a bygone era. Within just two days, analyst reports turned from optimistic to alarmed. Toyota's technological lead over the rest of the world was not two years, but six or even seven, and even that seemed conservative. Because while others were still talking about their plans, Toyota was already delivering results. And these results didn't come from sterile labs or controlled simulations but from the roads of the world. More than 50 prototype vehicles with Toyota solid-state batteries are currently rolling inconspicuously through Japan, North America, Europe, and even the icy side streets of Hokkaido. These are not show cars for PR purposes, but real test carriers meant to prove under real conditions that this technology is ready to conquer everyday life. These vehicles currently being tested are not flashy prototypes with bright stickers. They look like ordinary production models from the outside, but are in fact disguised test units secured by strict confidentiality agreements. Under the body, however, hides nothing less than the future of energy, and they are not treated gently. These cars endure scorching desert heat, icy mountain passes far below 0 to 4 C, ultra-fast charging cycles in seconds, and months of stop-and-go driving in dense city traffic. Stress tests that would push conventional batteries to their limits within weeks. The first results are devastating for the competition. On average, these test vehicles achieve a real range of over 1, 500 kilometers per charge under mixed driving conditions, all without a stop at a charging station. The age of lithium is over. The era of solid-state technology has begun. For Toyota, this is not a fad but the writing of a new chapter of mobility itself. And if you think that sounds incredible, that was just the beginning. Toyota 
is only just getting started, and so are we. So don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell so you don't miss the next part of this revolution. The road ahead is changing rapidly, and you'll definitely want to be in the front row.